welcome to another episode of Maximilian Must Know. Today I'm going to be renew, re reviewing another fragrance from the House of Imaginary Authors. This is the fifth one that um, that I own from this house. I also have City on Fire, Slow Explosions, Memoirs of a Trespasser, and Every Storm a Serenade. I still need to actually do a full review on Every Storm as I only did a quick review in the collaboration video um, that, that we all did. But Josh was good enough to send me this one when he introduced his new travel sprays, which we'll talk about in a little bit. Uh, there are actually still four more in this collection that I want to own, believe it or not, because I love this house. Uh, I still want to purchase Falling Into the Sea, Mosaic, The Soft Lawn, and Cape Heartache. One day it is my goal to work on a scent with imaginary authors. Uh, that's a dream of mine because to me, Josh Meyer is a genius. Um, if you're interested in brand backstory, please check out the first video that I did on Memoirs of a Trespasser. <clears throat> Cobra and the Canary was one of the initial scents that came out when Josh launched his collection. I'm sure by this point you guys know that each fragrance has an imaginary author and an imaginary story behind it. The story behind this one is, quote, when a tip from a clairvoyant leads 23-year-old Neil orders to a rural Connecticut barn housing his deceased father's secret obsession, a pristine 1964 Shelley Cobra Roadster, it is the getaway ticket he was desperately searching for. <clears throat> After liberating his best friend Ike from his dead-end job on the family farm, the two hit the open highway aiming for the Palm Springs racetracks. Their journey is a blur of city motels, cool swimming pools, hot debutantes, cocktails and cigarette smoke each stop finds the friends inventing new pseudonyms and personas for themselves their innocent game hurtling into the hurtling into the depths of decadence and desolation uh james spundit is the imaginary author and the quote is we were driving faster than damn it headed due west for a place called anywhere but here now this one came out in 2012 and features notes of lemon Oris, tobacco, flowers, leather, hayfields, and asphalt. Three size options are available from the Imaginary Authors website. A 2 ml sample is 6 bucks. A 50 ml bottle is $95. And these new 14 ml travel bottles run a very reasonable $38. So if you pick one of these up, they're going to come in this box that has the name of the fragrance right there. Um, on the back, you got um, you got these spots normally don't come that I must have touched it when it was wet. You have the quote from the author. It's sort of made to look like a book spine, which is so dope. And then you have a place for the fragrance to sit right in there. And you have auto parts for them in there. And then the spray, you know, just looks like this. So, and it's got that IA stamp into the cap. So just cool, just a, a, a nice, um, new way to, to get this product at a, at a lower price point, something you could throw in your bag, um, which makes it easier to, to get your fragrance around. So let's talk about the scent on this one. <clears throat> this is a really interesting fragrance. It starts off with lemon and not like fresh, bright lemon, but almost like cr a creamy rind of a lemon mixed with orris root so that it's earthy but tangy. And then you have a very floral tobacco note that goes along with that. And I feel like the tobacco flower is joined by the hay to give this like a rustic, almost countryside vibe, which sort of goes off with, you know, the theme of, of driving through the countryside and hot asphalt. Um, so you got this lemon, this orris root, this hay and tobacco flower. So it's kind of metal like, and then the whole fragrance is constructed on a very rugged, um, almost saddle brown saddle leather note it's bizarre and it's bizarre in a really good way it's something that i haven't smelled before so comparisons are almost impossible for me because in terms of genre this one is in its own little space here um you know the idea of fruit and leather is something that's been done there are just many examples of that you know most notably i think in our community tuscan leather combined raspberry and leather and you know, Traversy de Bois Four by the Artisan did apple and leather. So sweet, 
with leather as sort of a mainstay, but this is a pretty arid lemon. Um, and the lemon and tobacco flower and hay and leather is just super daring. And that kind of blending and risk taking really has sort of um, endeared me to this brand in a pretty dramatic way. As far as performance, these are all, all these scents are great performers in this in this collection. You know, I'd say they, they probably last longer than they're, they're gonna boom off your skin. Um, and this one actually don't get a huge amount of scent progression, which is rare from imaginary author scents. This kind of opens the way that it opens and, and really stays that way. You know, there's nuances, but um, that's pretty much what you get with this one. I think it's definitely unisex, but uh, leans masculine. And for me, the ideal wearing of this guy is casually in the fall during the day, but I think this one could be dressed up and worn in spring or winter as well. Uh, I'd probably stay away from it doing really high heat because the lemon is really sort of the only bright note in this one. Um, if someone were trying to talk you into purchasing this fragrance, I think they'd say it's very unique leather, hay and asphalt notes are unique, very wearable unisex and travel sprays are just awesome in general. If someone were trying to talk you out of this one, I think they'd say that this is deep on the list of best fragrances from imaginary authors. You know, I'd say get this one once you've gotten seven or eight of the other ones, you know, Memoirs and Falling into the Sea and, and Kate Hardick. Uh, you know, there's really special scents in this collection. Um, I always like to give a comparison that if you can't get a fragrance or just want something like a fragrance or want something more expensive or less expensive, I like to do that in my reviews. It, it's really hard with this one. Um, I would say if this one doesn't do it for you or whatever, check out just some of Josh's other early work like Memoirs or Falling to the Sea. I know I just uh, said that. Or Soft Lawn. You know, those are very unique and, uh, and one will definitely be up your alley. Now, if you're just looking for a great leather scent, um, you know, in a super high end of the price spectrum, you know, is to me XJ Um by Zerzhov. Um, but if you don't feel like dropping $600, uh, you know, like You Can Want Home by Rosasa is a great Tuscan leather cone. And, you know, if you're looking to spend under 50 bucks, Vintage Leather by West Dirt Brand is a really nice old school biker leather sort of sense. But let me be clear and tell you that none of the fragrances that I've talked about smell like this fragrance. This is in its own space, um, which is awesome. And, and those are the types of fragrances that I generally find to be purchase worthy because how many Aventus clones or aquatics or oh, uh, oud, rose, and saffron, you know, combos can, can any one person own? Um, whenever I'm given a bottle, I don't rate it. Uh, but uh, I did not initially like this fragrance when Josh sent me samples over two years ago. This one in Bull's Blood, I really were passes for me, but I've really grown to quite like Bull's Blood, and uh, I really like this one a lot, to be honest with you guys. It's just a really cool take on leather with lemon and orris and hay. It's earthy, and uh, there's so many different takes on leather, you know, nowadays. It's almost hard to be unique, but this is like a zingy sort of you know, brighter leather with the creamy component and the quality is good, the performance is good. And now the fact that these are in 14 ml bottles, you know, these are affordable enough to take a chance on. So, you know, go take a look at some imaginary author sets. I guess that would be my takeaway here. Uh, hope you have enjoyed this review, guys. Of course, I'll link to IA in the description. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. I'll do my best to answer them, and I'll see you later next week with more videos. Guys, you already know what it is. My name is Maximilian, and I'm awesome.